Hey friends, happy Monday. Hope you guys are having a great Monday so far. We are going to make this quick, swift, and very informative today. So if you um, are joining live, please say hello in the comments. If you're joining or watching the replay, please comment replay below so I know where you all are coming from. Um, and I want to just remind you that um, if you like these videos and you want more of this content, you want to make sure you don't miss anything. I am going live Mondays and Thursdays around this time, just sharing some tips, uh, tips, tools, and you know strategies that can really help you create that life that you want. So today I want to talk about the one word mantra. And I talked about this briefly last week. I posted about this on Facebook. Um, but I wanted to talk about it because it is so simple yet so powerful. And it's something that I am helping um, and sharing with some of my clients and it can be so incredibly like impactful, right? It is one of the mindset sort of shortcuts that I use and it works wonders. So if you missed that post, this is a great video for you to watch. Let's dig in. So when you talk about a mantra, and traditionally mantras for a lot of people are simple statements, sometimes they take the form of an affirmation that help us, you know, stay in a certain mind place, a certain mindset place. Uh, it can be like an affir affirmative statement. It can be a focus, um, a feeling. It can be anything, right? And... I have started using this one word mantra to help bring me back to sort of homeostasis, mindset homeostasis, or what I call neutral, right? And the way that this works for me and the way that I've been teaching this to my clients is instead of thinking about the specific thing that you're trying to create, so like abundance or you know, a certain amount of money or a certain job or a certain specific, very detailed outcome, I am teaching my clients to look at the feeling, to reflect on the feelings that these situations, these manifestations, these end result things that they want to create are going to bring them, right? And so for me, I have been thinking of words like ease and peace. Those two words specifically for myself really sort of anchor in a feeling. It immediately allows me to tap into like, I know what peace feels like. I know what ease feels like. I know it's sort of like no worries, you know, the Akuna Matata kind of <laughs> mentality, right? And so for me, those words really, really connect. And those are my one word mantras. So when I am in a place where I'm not feeling peace and I'm not feeling ease and I remember, then I will come back to, okay, I just need to tap into that feeling of peace. What does that feel like? And I'll just remind myself like peace, ease, flow. That's another one of the uh, words that I often use, <clears throat> right? So you don't have to do anything specific. You don't have to write this down. You don't have to repeat it a thousand times. But sometimes just clicking in to the word or the feeling, specifically the feeling word, that brings you back to that homeostasis, that what is it that, is, that you ultimately want to feel in your life. And the reason that these two words, for me personally, work is because what I am seeking in my life the things that I am asking for, right? The things that I'm creating, the things that I'm um, cultivating in my life and in my business really come back to that. It's about allowing myself to be easy, allowing myself to be at peace, really being grounded and tapping into that feeling of like I get to relax, right? Relaxation. And I think part of this came from, I saw a and I may have talked about this before, but I saw an image on, I want to say Instagram, that said the manifestation of faith is relaxation. And I sat with that for a long time. The manifestation of faith 
is relaxation. And I realized that for a long time, I was living not in a place of relaxation. I was living in hustle. I was living in, how do I figure this out? I was living in, okay, I got to do the next thing. I got to push harder. I got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. But over the years, I found that I'm most successful and my clients are most successful at creating and calling in and receiving what they want, what they are intending to create when they come from a place of relaxation, when they create from this place of ease. Excuse me. So those two words, ease and peace, are so helpful. Now, your words might not be ease or peace. I have a client, uh, we've been working with this, and her word, one of her words is easy, right? Let it be easy. But also choice. I have choice. What is the choice that I'm making? Choice, right? So I really want you to think about like, what's the word that really connects you and helps you connect to that desire, that end result. When you imagine having, being, doing those things that you want to create in your life, what's the feeling? What is the essence of that? And if we're thinking about manifestation or if you're talking about law of attraction, all of it is really revolving around that feeling. Have that feeling now and those things, opportunities, situations will come. So what is that? What is that word for you, right? And as you're thinking about this, really think about the feeling words. If you're already living that life, if you already are that person who has the money, who has the love, who has the relationship, who has the circumstances, whatever that is for you, if you're already doing that, what are you feeling? What is that feeling that you have in your life, right? And again, as I was reflecting on this and that quote that I saw about faith and relaxation, what I realized is that I was not being in that place. Another word that might work for you might be presence or present, being present or being. That might be a good one for you, right? But you really want to find a word that resonates, that helps you click in. And it's like, yes, like I feel, I feel that word. I feel that feeling. I really connect with that. I click into that. And when I am not in a place of peace and I'm not in a place of ease, the moment I remember, oh, I have this one word mantra, like that's what I want to feel. Then I take a moment, take a couple deep breaths. I get present. And then I just close my eyes and I reflect on that word. I repeat it in my mind. I feel it in my body. And there is a a very distinct feeling I have in my body where I like, I like lean back. I relax. It's like I melt a little bit because I'm not worried anymore. I'm in the present moment. I'm in that peaceful place. And that is what I want to feel. And that is what I choose to create from. Does that make sense? So I hope that this is helpful. I know a lot of the mindset stuff can feel confusing. It can feel complicated. There's a lot of potential moving parts (laughs) for a lot of people. Um, But this is one of those things that I think can be very simple if you find the word that really connects for you, right? So I'd love to hear if any of the words that I shared in this video, um, Or if you've come up with your own, like what word really resonates for you? What is that word for you? And post it in the comments. Okay, I'd love to hear what words you come up with. Um, And then I also want to remind you that, you know, I share these kinds of tips and tools all the time, you know, not only on Facebook, but I also share them with my email uh, newsletter list. So if you want to be a part of my VIP list, I'm going to include the link below in the comments. And then if you want to fill your toolbox, right, your mental mindset, (laughs) creative, powerful toolbox of tools and strategies and things that can help you get to your specific destination to get rid of the gremlins, to get rid of the nonsense, to get rid of all those big, scary thoughts that aren't always true. Most of them aren't, right? 
and you want to really learn how to do that one-on-one, -on -one, then I'm going to include a link to my consultation, my calendar. You can book a free consultation. We can chat about what you're looking for, what you're challenged by, and see if we're a good fit to work together. And I have my four-month program that I work with clients in, and I promise you that this work is one of the best investments you can make in your life. It really, really is. And I hear this from clients all the time. This, these are not my words. These are the words of multiple clients who have said this multiple times, which is the outcomes from this work are better than they had ever imagined possible. Like, I don't think that there's a better <laughs> review for anything then the outcome was better than I ever imagined was possible. And that is possible for you too. So I'm going to include the link below so that we can chat. Um, so check out the comments so you can sign up to my newsletter list, sign up for your consultation, and I'd love to chat with you. But in the meantime, I want to know what your word is, okay? So share that in the comments as well. And I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous week. I will be back on Thursday with a new video, a new live message for you. So make sure that you tune in on Thursday around this time and I'll be sharing another quick tip, powerful message with you then. All right. Have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.